video, I'm going to uh, explain or discuss about the method of sets. Uh, explain natin ngayon kung um, ano ang method of sets. So, some say describing the sets. So, describing the sets. So, before we go through to that uh, topic, I, uh, we need to recapitulate or review the concept of the sets. Sets. Okay, sets is a group of something It's a group of something that well defined or the same. So meaning that part um set is or yes, set is a group of something uh na kung saan that part well defined or the same. We should be sure about our um recognize that part. Okay? So because there are times na in the measure of what is a group of something, kagaya ng baba na a set of kind student. Yan. So, a set of kind students. So, paano natin uh, malaman na kind student yung, yung mga student for instance? Diba? So, as we observe, this word is not measurable. So, we couldn't be able to measure the less word. These so, are kind students. So, maling mo, diba? So, kunwari, mabait lang yung students. So, di ba, hindi siya measurable. So, di natin siya ma-measure, ma-recognize, for instance. So, mali mo, yun nga, sabi natin kanina, uh, i-group natin sila, kanya rin ito, group, um, mabayit na student or kind student, and then, hindi pala kayo, doon lang siya mabayit. So, kunwari, mabayit lang pala. Di ba? Okay, so, ito siya is, hindi siya example na um, group of something or a sense. So, and in power that a set of um bad students. So inverse inverse of that kind bad students. So dear so, nothing to make sure or ma justify or ma identify kung um uh, bad or bad student by yung um some student, some bata, for instance, di ba? So, ito siya, yes, hindi siya, hindi rin siya, um, hindi rin siya just think, hindi rin siya well defined. So, ito may example na yan. So, meaning that's X. So, wrong. Pero, kapag sinabi ang set of numbers 1 to 7, for instance. Okay, ano, a set of numbers 1 or from 1 to 7. So this is definitely well defined and um, distinct. Kasi meron tayong, uh, meron tayong uh, numbers na 1 to 7. It's definitely, di ba? So kunyari meron tayong P. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, then 7. Yeah. So ganyan siya. So this is Correct. Okay? This is correct. So, ito siya kapag sometimes uh, nalagyan natin siya ng uh, name of sets. Halimbawa itong E. Uh, this set, uh, this is the name of set. Ito yung pangalan ng set. So, set A is with an element of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, yan. Okay? So, yan. So, just a review about the sets. Okay, so punta tayo dito sa method of sets or describing the sets in some uh, pieces. So, yeah. Okay, by the way, set also is a collection of
Okay, so set also is a collection of objects called elements. Okay? Um, it is a collection of objects, so that's a group of something, and then tinatawag natin siyang elements. So, kag kagaya kanina, ibig sabihin, yung mga numbers, kagaya ng 3, yes, yun na naman sa 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, so yan. Yung upset set, set is with elements of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, with an elements. Ito sila, ang tawag siya kanila, yes? Elements. So, what about the method of sets? Method of sets uh, are describing the sets. Uh, they say that this uh, we have two method of sets or describing the sets. Uh, the first one is the uh, roster rotation. The second one is the set builder. Yeah, so, pangalawa is set builder rotation method. Okay, so dito muna tayo sa uh, number one. Number one. Uh, roster method. Okay, roster method. Also known as the listing method. Listing okay. method. Okay. So, it's just a listing method. Because in the roster notation method, we are going to um, show the elements by listing them. Okay? So, by listing them. So, we can list natin yung elements. We okay. list natin yung elements. So, ano yung malimbawa nito? So, Let's have uh, some illustrative examples. So, kunyari, meron tayong um, number one. Okay? Meron tayong um, Zero and counting number, meaning zero, one, two, and so on. Okay, 
sa whole numbers. Assuming just as double new kasi whole numbers. Yeah. Actually, there is no symbol of whole numbers. So, assuming that is double new. Then, uh, set of curly brace. Uh, sabi daw, less than equal to 6. Ibig sabihin, sabi 0. Then, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. Kasama ba ang 6? Okay. Okay. Kasama ang 6. Okay. Kasi ang sabi niya is less than equal to 6. Okay. So, ibig sabihin, kasama ang 6. So, nandaan niya na kapag, kapag meron siya equal, dapat hanggang doon. Okay. So, then less than equal to 6. So, yeah. So, W. For whole numbers, it's for elements of 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Kasi less than equal to 6. Okay, so another example. Let's proceed to number 3. Okay, so. I-pause yung muna itong video na ito. Then, sagutan nyo. Try nyo yung sagutan na number 3. Okay, so. Okay, tinan nyo yung mga sagot nyo. Okay, number 3. Write the sum of integers. The integers. Greater than negative 5 but less than 4. Okay? So, um, sabi daw yes, integers. Okay, integers. Greater than negative 5 but less than 4. Yes, less than 4. So, meaning, um, integers and why not integers? So, integers, yes, ito na yung... Um, my negative four. Okay, so positive and negative. So, including na dito yung positive or yung negative sign. Okay, so ang symbol ng integers is yes. okay, so Z. Yeah. Actually, dalawa ang ano, meron tayong positive integers meron tayong negative integers. Ngayon, kapag ang um, elements is yes, negative lahat, so that's negative. Again, yun na negative sa atas. Okay. Pag positive naman, lagay na ng positive sa mas. So, kapag dalawa, negative and positive, so that's integers. Okay? So, integers, so Z, is with an element of, so, greater than negative 4. So, greater than negative 4. So, ibig sabihin, uh, start ka na, greater than negative 4, so negative 3. Okay? Negative, ano, that's negative 5. Greater than negative 5, so negative 4. Okay. So, mas matasa negative 5. Negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1. Of course, 0, kasi ang 0. Tapos, sabi less than 4. Then, 1, 2, 3. Kasama ba ang 4? Okay, hindi kasama kasi wala siya equal. So, basically, that's the answer. So, z with integers, is negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, and 3. Okay, next. Okay, so, pause nyo ulit. Sagutan yung number um, 4. Okay, so number 4. Write the set of positive even numbers. Positive even numbers less than equal to 4. Okay, positive even number. Okay, even number. Um, even number ay uh, uh, yun na yung 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and so on. So yun na, yun na mga even numbers. Okay? So dalawa yan, even and odd. Okay? So even numbers is even numbers siya. Um, uh, sagutan natin, we have um, positive even, even number. Pwede nyo nilagay na positive integer kasi galaw siya sa positive integer. Ayan. Then, curly brace. So, positive even numbers uh, less than equal to 12. Yeah. So, section 2, then 4, 6, 8, 10. Okay. Kasama ang 12? Less than equal to 12. Kasama. Okay, kasama. Exactly. So, kasi sabi niya less than equal to 12. Okay, so. That's it. Okay. So, Yan. So, yun ang isang quotes na uh, roster notation method. Okay. So, 
that's it. Okay, so um, for your assignment, training and salute in the cell. Sa inyong ano ba? Assignment na lang. So write the set of odd numbers greater than 3 but less than 21. Okay? So again, write the set of odd numbers greater than 3 but less than 21. Okay? So see you guys. Sagutan niya. Bye.